Hello friends, welcome back to DevOpsy. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Apache Kafka on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So let's start. So firstly, we need to update our system package. So let's update. So run the command sudo apt update. So it's done. Now clear the screen. Now the next step is install OpenJDK. So here I'm going to install OpenJDK 11. This is the latest version. So let's install. So yes, I want to install. So it's installing OpenJDK 11 on my Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So it's almost done. Wait for few seconds. Yeah, it's done. Now let's check the version of our java so run the command java hyphen version so can see the details of our java you can see the version 11.0.15 this is the latest version now clear the screen and now let's see the next step now the next step is install apache kafka so if you want to install the latest version so go to the check Kafka official documentation or official page. So you can see here, this is the official page of Kafka. So here I'm in download Kafka and here you can see the latest release 3.2.1. And here I'm going to download the binaries. So click on it and right click, then copy the link address. And now I'm going to install Apache Kafka using wget command. So enter wget and paste that link. Okay, so if I run the ls command, you can see here the tzz file. So now we need to extract this file. So run the command sudo tab xvf and our file. So I'm going to copy my file and paste in command to extract. Okay, it's done. Now clear the screen. And now I'm going to run the ls command so you can say we are successfully extracted. Okay. Now, now the next step is I'm going to move this file to this particular location slash opt and in this I'm going to create a folder calf. So let's run this command. So the command is like this sudo move means mv and our uh, file and slash opt and kafka so okay now i'm going to run the ls command you can say there is no any extracted file so let's go to the location slash opt and run the ls command so you can see a kafka right okay so now the next step is create the systemd unit file for zipkeeper service so let's open create a systemd uh, in system service file for zookeeper service so let's paste the below lines into this file now 
save the file. And after that, we need to reload the system. So let's run the command to reload. Then the next step is create the systemd unit file for Kafka service. So let's run the command to create Kafka service. And add the below lines here. And you can see here, you need to mention your Java path. Here you can see my Java path, Java home, in user lib, JVM, Java 11 open JDK, right? So here you need to add your Java path. Now save the file and exit. After that, we need to remove the system. Okay, now let's start our zookeeper. So run the command, sudo system CTL sudo system CTL sudo system CTL start Okay, now let's see the status of our zookeeper. So run the command sudo system CTL status. You can see it's active running. Okay. Now start the Kafka server. So let's run the command sudo system CTL start Kafka. Now let's check the status of our Kafka. You can see it's also active running. Okay. Now it's done. That means we have successfully installed Kafka, Apache Kafka on our Ubuntu. Okay. Now, the next step is here. To start Kafka and Zookeeper service in the background without creating system UD unit file. So we have shell script to run the Kafka and Zookeeper service in back backend. So firstly, create a file name kafka start.sh and copy the below script in this file. Here you can see, right? If you want to start and start Kafka and Zookeeper server in the background without creating system unit file. So then the next step is after give the executable permission to the file. So you need to run this command. Then the next is create the Topic in Kafka. So you can see here uh, the command to create topic and our topic name is here. You can see DevOps. And in bracket, you can see a mention new year version 2.2 and above of Kafka no longer requires Zookeeper connection string that is Zookeeper localhost 2181 and through exception in Threadman. So that's why here I mentioned 9092 because my version is 3.2.1, right? Okay, now let's create a topic. So here you can see my topic name is DevOps. Here you can see I mentioned the topic name. So let's create, so let's run the command. So firstly, we need to go to our Kafka. So let's go to the Kafka. And here I'm going to create topic with the name DevOps. So you can see created topic DevOps. Okay. Now the next step is to check the list of topic created. So run the command to check the list of topic that we have created. You can see we have only one topic with the name DevOps, right? That we have just created here. Okay. Then the next is to send the message for created topic. So you can run the command. So let's run the command and you can see our topic name. 
at the end of command. Here, DevOps. Okay, let's run the command. Now enter a message. So here I'm going to enter hi. And then press control Z for it. Okay. Now, next is to using below command, we can see the list of messages. So let's run the command to see the list of messages that we have just enter here. You can see our message that we have enter here. Hi and how are you? That's it. Okay. Now it's done. Now clear the screen. Then the next step is to connect Kafka from remote machine. You can see to connect created topic and send message from remote server. Please follow the below steps. So firstly, go to the below path. You can see the path slash cd opt kafka config. And here you look for server properties here and make some configuration changes. So firstly, you need to run this command sudo nano server property. So let's firstly, let's go to this location. Then config. So let's go to config. And here, go to the server properties. And here, you need to uncomment these two lines. This not plain text 9092. So here you can see listener plan plain text 9092. And then advertised listener so let's go to the here let's uncover this now save the file and exit okay it's done that's it so in this video we have learned how to install apache kafka on ubuntu 20.04 lts so thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps and channel.